I'm here in San Damiano d'Asti, Italy, up in the north in Piemonte with Augusto Baracco, JKD Unlimited, full instructor level three and purple belt in BJJ for the street. We're gonna take a look at an omoplata counter. So there are a lot of omoplata counters. So if I'm here and you know, when we're doing straight jujitsu, just rolling with no striking, it's harder, it's more difficult for my opponent to get me in an omoplata because my elbows tend to stay down and in and what you're looking for is to get that elbow pointing out and get that kind of 90 degree angle or so that's when you can find that omoplata and there are ways to walk your legs up very high go to a triangle first and all that there are ways to set up that omoplata but it's actually easier when there's punching involved because when I pull back to punch here, I pull back to punch here, guess what? I give him that angle. So actually with striking, if you're doing MMA, you should really work that omoplata because not only is it set up for you more often, you also get your head out of the way of the punches. Unlike if he puts me in a triangle, see, like this, and I come here, I can still punch here. Not so good for him. If he puts me in omoplata, I'm not hitting him. I, I don't have any shots to hit him right there. So, omoplata, great thing to work. Counter. He goes omoplata. The first omoplata counter is to time it and jump over to the other side. So not only do I counter the omoplata, I pass his guard at the same time. So, so I have to feel it coming. This is where anticipation. I feel it before he can put his arm up and stop me, I'm jumping to the other side. Okay, simple. You've probably seen that. Here is a nice trick, though. A very nice trick. As he goes, what am I looking for? I'm looking to attack. Okay, maybe I'm too late to jump. I get stuck in it. I can try to roll out and this and that, but you know, I want to attack. So we're going to go like this. He's going to get me in the omoplata. And he sits up, he's all the way up here. Now, even though he has his arm here, I can still, it might be hard to roll forward, but I can tumble back in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tumble, and if this is here, I might have to take this arm off, actually peel it off, but as I do, I'm right back to triangle from there. Because we're looking to attack. So again, he goes. Do it from here. Oh my plata. I'm gonna come back, pull that arm. Sometimes my leg's gonna be stuck through, I can pull it out and then come back. Make sure when we're doing MMA, check that arm right away because he might start blasting you with it. Once he's really in danger of choking, then you can go to two hands. So one more time from over here. Comes in. Oh my plata. From here, I'm going to just not do a roll forward, but I'm going to come back in. Look to pull that arm out as he comes up. Work up to the triangle. Get the other hand. And there we go. Triangle to counter the omoplata.